Tuesday night of your, your pride in the players. Um, and if you look at the five games you've been in charge for, I think you've had two wins and, and two draws in that period. Um, overall, you must be really delighted with the response that you've been able to get out of the players since you uh, since you took over. I am, Mark, yeah. Um, the players have, have um, really responded well to, to me and um, gave me their all, um, gave the club their all in my period. Um, and I can truly only really reflect um, with real honesty and any real um, focused knowledge really on, on my own period uh, because it, it, it's, it's been the period where I've been able to assess everything, I've had access to everything um, and within that period um, I, I have genuinely been really proud of the players. And in these final three games, I just, I guess, you just want to see plenty of fight and more of the same, really. Totally, yeah. Um, just, just, just a, a brilliant attitude towards every game. Um, just giving every game what it deserves on its merits, um, and trying to take out the context of the situation in some ways, but definitely letting the context of the situation remain in others. Uh, we need to use. Um, any fuel for our fire to, to provide the fight that's required in, in every football league game but um, certainly in a, a relegation fight um, that many think um, we're destined for doom anyway I, I just want to sh show at least that the fight remains within our walls and we're gonna we're gonna aim to bring that within every game and and, and try and you know produce points in, in every game what's the mood been like? Um, you know, just since Tuesday night, and just in general, I suppose, since you took over, because it would be easy to look in from the outside and think that it must be a, you know, a horrible place to be at the moment. But um, I kind of get the impression maybe it's not quite like that. Um, the mood within what we're trying to do, the mood within um, some of the football that we're playing, and 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 the results that we've had um, in in very difficult fixtures. Uh, uh, I must add, because we've only really been playing top half teams other than Wimbledon. Um, so the mood in terms of what we've done, what we've produced, what we've returned, uh, has been very good. Uh, I would say Tuesday night was was a really difficult night in the stadium um, because I think a lot of people expected us to go down that night, and I, I think um, I think a culmination of probably a couple of years or a few years um, of having a poor time at the club. Um, was was really showing its head on Tuesday night, and um, I've got I've got sympathy and, and empathy for everyone's feelings uh, about how the last couple of years have been, or the, or the last few years have been, and um, it's it's been it's been a tough road for for our fans to endure. Um, but all I would say is that I have to speak openly and truthfully. The fans deserve that, you know, my players deserve that as much as possible. Is that um, that culmination of, of all those years of having a poor time um, resulted in a really difficult atmosphere on, on Tuesday night and it, and it was really difficult for our players to um, play with any freedom um, and I could see moments where it, it really affected their courage so despite the fact they want to feel enthused about um, my ideas and what we're doing and, and I do too um, we were a bit environment affected uh, on Tuesday night, but again, I, I've got total understanding for the fans feeling also. I would just have to speak openly and truthfully and say that um, that doesn't give my short tenure and our short tenure uh, thus far the best opportunity to be the best it can be, um, facing uh, the pent up angers of, of, of all the last few years. Uh, but. Every, everybody's human in, in, in within it all and I think everyone's intentions deep down are ultimately the best so um, all I can promise is that uh, we will try to protect good spirit as much as possible and produce the best performance as possible and always try our best. You've been at the club a long time obviously as a player, you've got a relationship and a connection with those Rochdale supporters and I guess the message from you is that you know whatever happens over these next three games we, we all need to stick together moving it into, into next season, is that something you'd like to see? That's that's totally it, yeah that, that's the top and bottom of it, that's all I've tried to um, express and share when, when I've been asked um, to speak or, or, or doing pro programme notes, that, that's, the, that's the exact message and I know that is 
tested more than ever now. Um, and as I said, previous question there, I think we're facing right now towards the end, the culmination of, of, of some, um, some pent up frustration from, from a number of years of um, poor performance from the football team and the football club. Um, so in this period now, all I, all I hope for, ask for um, is, is unity as much as we possibly can um, to, to try and finish the season in, in the best fashion possible. Um, and, and, and get the best results we can uh, in that period before we, we move into next season again and, and you know hopefully unite and, and go again and, and start 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 a new period for the club regardless of what division we're in. Just in terms of this specific game against Stockport, um, they're obviously you know at the other end of the table they've got plenty to play for themselves so you know to, to go there and, and win as you have to do to try and stay alive it, it obviously it's a it's a huge task ahead of you, isn't it? It's massive, Mark, yeah, and um, they're really on the march. Uh, it's rocking right now over there. They, they, they've done so many great things off the field um, for, for a number of years now, which, which brings the football club to the point that it's at now. These things, they don't happen by chance. Um, they happen with planning, good people in the building, uh, money, of course. And yeah, you're really seeing um, the the product now look looking very polished over at Stockport. Um, it's, it's, it's a brilliant club that's, that's brilliantly supported. Um, but just in terms of the game, it's a really exciting game for us. Um, it's it's a massive game. It's a local derby. Take 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 the context out of the, the league. Um, uh, out of the situation for a moment. It's it's a local derby first and foremost. The fans want to see the basic elements required from a local derby and I will be expressing that to our players 100% because um, I know our fans like like any other fans that have played for them in front of them for uh, eight years or so now whatever it's been and you know they're, they're ready to support when you you provide those moments for them to support and, and local derbies provide those moments so it's a really exciting game I know the players will be um, looking forward to this one um, uh, because it, it's a really good game to be involved in. Is there an incentive as well for the players, knowing that you know they are playing for their futures, be that at Rochdale or be that at other clubs next season? Definitely, it's it's one of the factors um, that's hugely on my mind it, in my period uh, here as manager. Now, um, there's going to be a lot of different feelings uh, within our players' minds. Some of them. Um, Maybe looking um, to next year elsewhere. Some of them may be looking to next year with us. It, it, it's it, it's probably the same at most football clubs at, at this time of the year. To be honest, uh, all I can try and do is try to focus our players forward on the task at hand. Focus our players to be united. Focus the club, our fans, everyone to be united as much as possible, and remain together in these remaining games. And accept what we need to accept together as a club, all of it, United, not just the players, um, everybody. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, again, just bringing it back to this game, Mark, it, 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 it's a great game, it's a great game, so the players shouldn't struggle for excitement or focus with this game. Just finally, um, in terms of yourself as well, you've been in the game a long time, is this as difficult a year as you've experienced both obviously in the two caretaker spells you've had in charge but also as a player in, in the squad that's, that's struggled all season yeah it is um, the bottom club in the football league is is a very difficult place to be um, it's 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 probably uh, it's probably quite an insecure place to be as a player uh, because the, the table's telling you um, that you're in the worst position possible in the football league, which you know is 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 damaging for confidence. Uh, it's damaging for belief, um, and that's been the most difficult thing about my tenure this time round. Is that um, I've took the helm at in the most difficult circumstances when confidence is at the lowest, and confidence is also at the hardest. Um, moment it can be in terms of how quickly it can be damaged by any moment that goes wrong on the pitch. Belief is 
really hard to maintain when you're at your ultimate lowest. If Stockport, for example, um, if they have any difficult moments in the game against us tomorrow or in the games in the running for them, um, they've got a bank of belief behind them because they're right up there at the top of the table and, they, and they'll believe they can go again. When you're down at the bottom of the table, you're trying to resuscitate your players constantly. Um, but on that very subject, um, I'll go back to your first question, Mark. I've been very, very proud of how the players have responded to me in my time. How, how, you know, how we've done this spell. Our punch return's been excellent. And Mark, in the last five games, uh, I think we're seven, seventh or eighth in, in the league table in terms of form. So um, I think the players are doing very well um, in this moment.